Hello, hello. Welcome to Mrs. K's way of calculating area of a circle. We're just going to be doing two things in this video. The first thing is we're going to review the area formula for finding area of circles. And the second thing we're going to do is calculate area two different ways, since we know two different ways to estimate for pi. So the first thing we want to do is review the area formula. And we want to remember that the area is the space inside a circle. So if we had a circle, it is everything in the inside. Now, we remember from our last video and from in class that we have a way of writing it as area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Now, remember, this is not pi times radius squared. It is the radius squared multiplied by pi. So if we want to write this a different way with only our variables, we wrote it as a is equal to the symbol of pi times the value of the radius as it is squared. And another way of being able to see it, if you don't want to mess up about the squaring, is another way is just saying that area is equal to pi times the radius times the radius. Since radius times radius right here is the same as radius squared, we can also write it with our radius out twice, and this will help us not forget that we are squaring just the radius. So this is a preferred formula. However, when you hear a lot of other people talk about area formula, you will usually hear pi r squared. So we are going to calculate the area two different ways. Uh, the, we're going to use this one example, and we're going to use the two different types of pi. But before we get to calculating, we want to remember what the question is asking. So find the area of a circle with a diameter of 4 meters. So here is our picture right here, 4 meters, which means from one side through the center of the circle to the opposite side is 4 meters. Well, when we look at our area model, we see that we need pi and we need a radius and a radius. So we are not given a radius in this different question. However, we can remember our previous understanding that a diameter is equal to two of the radius, so two r, or the radius, if we divide both of these sides by two, we know that the radius is equal to the diameter divided by two. So if we look at our example right here, although the diameter is four meters, our radius, which stops at the middle and goes off to the right, is only two meters. So this is the number that we're going to use in our formula since we need the radius. So the first way we are going to calculate is using pi as 3.14. And remember, this is an estimated value of pi since pi is a never-ending number. We just rounded it to the hundredths to make it easier for ourselves. So let's plug in the equation. So our equation, if we rewrote it right underneath, it would be area is equal to pi times the radius times the radius. I can plug in my values where I know that my pi is going to be 3.14. My radius, remember, is not the 4 meters, but we found that the radius is actually 2 meters, so that's why I put 2 meters in for radius. Then as we continue down, we know that if we multiply both 2 times 2, we get 4. So that means our area is pi, which is 3.14 times 4. And our final solution is the area is equal to 12 and 56 hundredths. And that is meters squared. Now remember that we need it to be squared since we are finding the area inside the whole entire circle, which is two-dimensional, where circumference is only one-dimensional. Now let's continue on and look at our second example where we are going to be using pi as 22 sevenths. So let's now plug this into our equation, which we have is the same as right here, as our pi is equal to our radius times our radius, or our area is equal to pi times radius times radius. So let's now plug in those numbers. So we plug in our value of pi, which now in this example is 22 sevenths. Our radius of 2 meters is still the same. I then continue down and I multiply my radius times my radius, which I see right here is still going to be 4. Now, since I'm multiplying by a fraction, it's a lot easier to make my 4 over 1 into a um, fraction so that all I have to do is multiply my numerator times my numerator, my denominator times my denominator, and we are left with 22 times 4, which gives us 
88, and then 7 times 1, our denominator, 7 times 1 gives us 7, so our final answer is the area is equal to 88 sevenths meters squared. And again, we can't forget about that squared. So here's how you were able to do the area two different ways. Remember, we will tell you which way we would like you to do it, whether it is with 3.14 or 22 sevenths, but make sure that you remember that if you're given the diameter, to still find the radius when finding area. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.